It's only the fourth day of summer, but families are already taking their summer vacations, whether it be by plane, train, or packing up the SUV. And for many, that means packing up an RV. Scott Sturdivant, regional VP with Blossom and Gas, is here to give us some tips and safety on RVs and propane safety. That's right. Propane tank can be very dangerous. It can be your friend, but it can also be very dangerous. Well, I'll tell you, when you, before you start out on the road, there's a couple of things you should do. First one being check all your vents for sticks, twigs, dirt, um, insects. You know we got dirt daubers. Check all the vents, the refrigerator, your um, furnace, and your water heater vent. Moving on around, I'd check uh, what's holding your propane cylinders, make sure it hadn't deteriorated any. And also check your propane cylinders because they need to be recertified 12 years after they're manufactured and then every five years after that. So you can carry it to any full-service propane company or Blossom and Gas, and we'll be glad to check that out for them. All right, well, how do you know how old your propane tank is? It's got a date stamped on it, so you can, uh, it, it's quite visible for you to see. Um, if you're not sure, you're going to be getting it filled anyway, so bring it by a store and uh, let them check it out. So, okay, so... Yeah. It, but usually, a lot of times, people trade those in. Um, not very often on RVs because you're usually using oh, a bigger big bottle. One. Right, okay. right. You know, um, as you're doing, uh, just doing these little pre-trips, it'll save you a lot of trouble later on. Y you can mix a solution of uh, one part water, one part liquid dishwashing detergent, and you can go ahead and check your, um, your lines on the outside, make sure, because they'll dry right over time, and check your regulator. And then as I went inside, it's important that you check, make sure you got a 5 BC rated fire extinguisher. Um, just because that little dial says green doesn't necessarily mean it's good. Um, a good way to check it is turn it upside down and thump it. If it sounds like a drum, then you know it's okay. If not, what's happening is all the powder settled in it. So just hit it a little bit until it starts sounding like a drum. Turn it back side over, and then hold it a few inches from the floor, drop it, and it should bounce. And then you know that your fire extinguisher is good. Okay. Um, how, what can happen if you don't follow these safety things? What are the potential hazards? Well, uh, you know, um, there was 20,000 reported fires for um, RVs last year. 80% of those were motor homes, and you want to take a guess what it was? Carbon monoxide? Nope. What? It was uh, transmission fires. Oh. That's why it's important that you have a heat indicator for your transmission so that, because um, look, you pull in these big rigs, um, th those transmissions get pretty hot and transmission fluid's flammable. Yeah. Um, another good idea and equally important is to have a carbon monoxide detector. And look, a lot of people have to mount those about four feet up so that carbon monoxide's lighter than air, mm -hmm. so it'll detect it quicker. And of course, have a propane detector, but All put right. it close to the floor. Thank you so much. We appreciate it, and, right. and good luck this summer on your trip. We'll be right back.